Twinny Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got my hair cut. I'm just super excited, super relieved. It just feels so light. I'm just so looking forward to life with this haircut. You guys know I've been wanting to cut it all last year. I just love the length, like she just did it like perfectly in terms of what I want in terms of length and shape. So I'm just loving it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last time I did a big cut, I pretty much got it cut curly. This time I wanted to get it cut straighter just to make it easier to do my twist outs because you know my shrinkage in the back is a lot more than in the front. So I wanted it to be kind of level-ish straight-ish <laughs> so that when I did my twist outs and stuff it would be more even. But the downside I guess is we're going to see how it looks when it's curly. So my hair is pretty symmetrical in terms of shrinkage. It does shrink different amounts but it shrinks about the same by horizontal layer. So I think I should be fine. We are about to find out. So I don't usually put any heat on my hair at all. So even though this is just a blowout, I am still just a little bit nervous. So as soon as I get back to curly, I'll be just relieved. Most people will be laughing at me like that much from blowout, but I'm nervous, okay? I'm nervous. So I'm gonna get in and do my clarifying. I'm gonna do protein treatment, I'm gonna decondition. Then I'm going to do my wash and go, and we'll see what we have at the end. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's get to the work, I guess. This is gonna be like the fastest wash day ever too. I'm so happy, because it's already pretty much detangled. I just have to clarify the condition, protein treatment. All right, let me not talk about it. <laughs> let me just get started. Yay, 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 yay. I'm gonna wet it, and we'll see what this looks like curly. So basically from straight-ish to curly, from blown out to curly. Let's see what we get. Ooh, this is like the first time you guys have seen my hair like this in a long time. I think I showed you guys a blow before, but I may not have. <laughs> but I do have some blows of my hair before, like when it was longer, on my Instagram. Anywho, let's go. So this is my hair after just wetting. I don't know about you guys, but just wetting alone isn't enough to revert my hair from a real blowout. So I am going to clarify and stuff, but you can see already the shrinkage. I'm not, I'm a little nervous that it shrinks totally well, but if it shrinks reasonable, I'm happy. Like no matter how short it looks, as long as it shrinks reasonably, I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah, so let's keep going, I guess, with clarifying. <laughs> But this is like throwback already, like it's like eye level, I guess. I was so excited. Anyways, yeah, so <laughs> it's like eye level so far. More to come. I'm gonna clarify and keep going. I'm gonna be using the Inasi Soothing Men Clarifying Shampoo. Hope you guys can see that. So I have used it once before off camera. my hair after shampoo round one you can see it shrunken up a lot so we'll see like if it just looks completely crazy I'm gonna have to go get a curly cut on top of it this is just going straight out and then this is like kind of Wolverine <laughs> but <laughs> but we'll see I'm gonna give it one more shampoo just to get more suds and kind of make sure it's done because you know it still feels really soft and amazing but that's partly because of how much gum they probably had on top of that so I'm going to give it one more shampoo and then do the protein treatment. This is my hair after round two of the clarifying shampoo. It is probably even more shrinken. Definitely looks fully reverted. Um, it's probably a little shampoo shrunken now. Like it may relax a little bit when I condition it. But this is what we're looking like for now in terms of shrinkage. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Now I'm going to get into the Curl Origin Marula and Quinoa Damage Control Operative Conditioner. I like to use a protein conditioner after like what I consider big heat. For me, it's a blowout. For others, it might be like a straighten. But yeah. I love like, I just love how short it is. Like I'm scared about the shape, but I love it being short. It's just a nice rich creamy conditioner really. Has a light sweet scent. 
I'm kind of three times the top and bottom now because <laughs> the top is just kind of going this way and not going through the bottom. <laughs> so I have to like do this and kind of do like a bottom rectangle, top rectangle. <laughs> Interesting. Well, the tangle slash work through. <laughs> As you can see, the slip is fine. It's not like the most slip I ever had, but like no issue either. So I would say probably like a seven and a half, eight out of ten for slip. Okay, almost one. I do want to kind of just run a denim or comb through it. I feel like I want to do that. <laughs> I used to do that when my hair was short, like it is now. <laughs> So status so far, super cute. I can't wait for the wash and go to just really see like the dry shrinkage and everything. But like if this is how it looks dry, this was like my favorite length dry. So I'll be happy to go back to it if it looks something like this dry. <laughs> but we'll see. But I'm super psyched already. The back does look a little long, but this back shrinks a lot more when it's dry than the rest. So it should be all a-okay when it's dry. <laughs> Okay, so let me rinse out the protein treatment. I didn't do heat or anything. I sometimes do, but I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> and it is fully reverted and everything. So, this is my hair after rinsing the protein treatment. Fully reverted, moisturized, strengthened, and ready to go. <laughs> so now I'm gonna proceed to just deep condition and then wash and go and then let the wash and go dry and then, woo! <laughs> Okay, well, let me give you all a turn. <laughs> this is like the most spinning ever. But yeah, so far, so good as you can see. Just love how short this is in the back. Just these little teeny minis here. <laughs> Anywho, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna be looking like ridiculous and delirious in this whole video if I don't calm down, but I'm happy. Okay, so let me get to the deep conditioning. So I'm gonna be using the She Scented Royal Honey and Argan Mask that I got. Um, this Black Friday. I shouldn't have to use much because that protein treatment is moisturizing as well. I'm just looking forward to remembering all the pros and cons of short hair. My first cut was basically my big chop, at least in recent history. So I want to see like how much of my experience before was because I was new at it, because you know, my scalp was still recovering from the relaxer, like just all the different things and how much of it was due to my length and just everything, you know. So, yeah, this is like a huge science experiment and I love science. <laughs> I'm a right nerd pride. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm just excited for everything about it. Just look at this. Just this and you're done detangling, like, you know, if the length is going to make it any easier, faster drying time, like... All the stuff, all the stuff. Less product usage. Like I'm just curious to see how things are gonna go down now. So as you can see, of course, crazy slip and dusty conditioner. Though of course, like I said, I'm using it on already moisturized here. Yes. So it may not be the most objective test, but so far I'm loving this deep conditioner. And I guess I'll use it again and let you guys know. When I can just put on deep conditioner and just start talking to you guys, I know it's a good one. <laughs> Amount of deep conditioner used, like barely a quarter, so definitely less product is a, is a pro. Sweet fruity scent as usual. Wow, I used a lot less product. Did I buy too much product for Black Friday now? <laughs> I guess I probably did even before this, but I'm definitely using less product so far. I cut about half my hair off, if not more. <laughs> I think it's okay to love short hair. I don't know why the natural hair community is like, okay, you have to have toe length hair. I never really stretch my hair anyways. So, yeah. Loving the slip, loving the moisture, and loving the scent of this. It just smells like sweet, fruity, honey-ish. Just amazing. Love the scent. And the moisture and everything. After I do like a bottom, <laughs> the funny part is I have to do this bottom and this top detangle. Because my top just kind of slides off and doesn't go through. 
guess I can make it go. It's how to kind of pick up the bottom of the shorter bottom from the top here. I have to like do this and then go in to get the bottom. So, oh. Okay, I'm going to let it sit and I'll be back in a bit. With my other like little kind of cross section and under curls that were not showing before that are like, hey, hey, hello. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be back. <laughs> Hi you guys, so I'm back after deep conditioning. As you can see, my hair is soft, super moisturized, even more shrunken. I don't know. Like this is like the perfect length for me. Like if it was dry this way, I think. But like maybe I love it even more when it's shorter, like I don't know. Can't wait to see when it's fully dry to see what we got. But so far I'm loving it. I'm pretty sure I love the shorter length too. I just love just being done like woo and it's done. Like you don't know like all down here is just like look. <laughs> I'm loving it. Totally loving it. And I'm loving this Royal Honey and Argan Deep Conditioner as well. My hair feels super soft and moisturized. Like if you're looking for a penetrating but slightly like rich and creamy but with slip like this is like just a perfect combination deep conditioner so I feel like it's slept on because I haven't heard much about it but my hair feels amazing looks amazing so yeah I do think I'll be repurchasing this Royal Honey and Argan deep conditioner as well so Black Friday win already so now we're gonna section <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how this sectioning will go with the back but let's see this is the section after rinsing I'm going in with the Royal Honey and Argan softening and leave-in milk <laughs> interesting leave-in milk I'm not really hear the back but I'm sure it's going to be amazing probably shouldn't be pumping away now that my hair is <laughs> typical she sent its scent kind of light sweet fruity nice texture not too runny nice slip Nice moisture. <laughs> this is so cute, y'all. I'm loving this so much, y'all will never understand. It just feels so cute to be just done. I really love short hair. Forgot how much I did. And it's not too short to rake or anything, so this is like a good length. I can still section, I can still rig. Hope I didn't put too much. This is my hair with the leaf in. <laughs> Going in with some Uncle Funky's daughter curly magic, which I haven't used in a while, so 2016 length, 2016. Gel, I guess. <laughs> Just going in a little bit. This is my section, I guess. <laughs> This is my hair after applying the Uncle Funkies. Pretty much the finished product, minus the shaking and the drying. So, yeah, welcome back, short hair. Loving it so far. Just waiting to see how it dries for like the final. Okay, this is what we got. <laughs> so, let me shake it out, get my volume, and then I'll be back when it dries. So, this is like the final look super cute if I'm a sister myself and and we'll see what we have when it dries <laughs> and this is it you guys the final shrinkage I'm loving it takes me back to my bitch up days just I don't know just feels so free and easy and cute and style like I've been wanting to do this for a long time I really think like my bitch up was super cute and 
kind of been wanting to get back to that. One, I wanted the look, and two, I just wanted to see if things would be different or what would be different. I really miss my little under coils like this. This part of my hair is like more coily, and the top part is a little bit more stretched out. And when it gets longer, this top part kind of covers the bottom part. So I'm cute, I'm like loving like seeing this kind of side action going on again. Even the top is a little bit more coily when it's shorter and a little bit more like S-shaped when it's longer. So even this part, like I'm like in the coils that I'm seeing, like it's more coily now. You can see the end of it is kind of more um, like, you know, a little bit more of a O or more of a coil and less of an S. So yeah, definitely enjoying the length and enjoying the shape and just enjoying the short hair. So, yeah, <laughs> looking forward to this year. Hey, it might even be an annual occurrence, I don't know, but I'm definitely looking forward to this year and just kind of seeing it grow out some more. It hasn't been this short since before I really started my YouTube channel, so I can probably show you guys some pictures from before, like um, closer onto my big shop and stuff, just to kind of show you how it was. And I guess you guys can see the shrinkage is real because you can imagine this is like, I think, about hair, I forget how long it was, but this is like about hair, and this is what it goes to. So you can imagine when my curly hair was down here, that like it was really like mid back length. Definitely is a lot shorter than it was a month ago, <laughs> and I'm loving it. So far, I definitely use less product, and so far, it still takes just as long to dry. I now know for sure that dry time has a lot to do with thickness more so than length, because using the exact same drying style as before I cut it. It's taken pretty much the same amount of time to dry. I don't really like the fusing, but maybe, I don't know, maybe one day. <laughs> so that's it. Looking forward to the year, looking forward to trying my products and just doing everything with my hair like this. Yeah, I don't think anybody was attached to my length since it was shrunken all the time. I noticed a lot of people weren't too excited about my cut. Like, I don't feel like I lost anything. I feel happy. I feel relieved. I feel like a way of loving bringing my little coils back, these little kitty woodies. So overall, I'm just loving it. That was it. Blown out, straight-ish, I guess, to curly, fully shrunken up, and yeah. Do you like short hair? Do you keep your hair short? Or what length do you keep your hair at? Are you going for, I don't know, toe length? Like, what are your length goals, I guess? Let me know. Let's talk about shrinkage. Let's talk about length. Let's talk about how you like to get your hair cut, because this is like a blown out cut, whereas before I got a curly cut. And I can see from my pictures before that there is somewhat of a difference in terms of, in terms of the shape. But it's like a small difference. It's not that much. Because for me, I feel like my shrinkage, like in terms of horizontal strips, my shrinkage is pretty symmetrical. And just shout out to all the products that I use. I actually love all of those products. I will be purchased all of them. The clarifying shampoo did the thing. The deep conditioner was awesome. Just that she scented goodness. The moisture, the slip. Yes, yes, yes. Same thing for the leave-in, the moisture, the slip, the definition, all of it was present. I haven't seen too much on that Royal Honey and Argan line, but you guys are missing out if you haven't tried it, definitely try it. I don't know if I'll do another video featuring it or if I'll feature it on this, but that, they definitely deserve shout-outs for that. Of course, uh, the Funky, the Curl Origin, love both of those products, so definitely want to shout out the products you use. Not sponsored, but they did good, so if you guys want to try them, you can. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.